everybody. Here's the room air window air conditioner made by Fetters. This thing's an oddball. Once again, this is a 4000 BTU. See if it even clicks off. It actually does click off. Do quiet cool. And we'll come over here to the compressor. I think it's a Rotor X. Let me see if I can see anything on it. I'm gonna guess it's a Rotor X. When I was younger, I used to have one of these units in my bedroom and it was branded as Nordine. So it had the same front grill. Actually, no. The top part was the same, but the bottom part, it looked like one of those large Emerson units and it was white. But it said Nordine in the bottom corner and on the back it looked like this and it had a it had a gold sticker where it said Nordine in blue letters. And it was pretty much exactly like this unit. I do really miss that unit and I'd like to find another one. I think there was a sticker here at one point in time like the Fetters units. Mine had a Fasco fan motor and then a Master Sheeta compressor. It sounds like it has a Rotor X. But the air movement that this thing blows out is just really, really good. It's quiet too. I remember mine being a lot louder than this, but it was practically identical. 70. It has the vent on it, which does still work. Here's normal cool. And here's super cool. Very odd unit. I find it interesting here how these, how this area of here of the grill looks slightly different than this area over here. Kind of odd. Also, that Nordine unit I talked about earlier that I had, um, it, the front panel of it was white. So, I'll try to find a picture of that. insert it somewhere in a video. The front grill's a bit knackered down here in this part. Rattles a bit. Blows more out of this vent than the other one. I absolutely love this unit. Not sure which one I'll install in the bedroom. Not this bedroom, but once I move in with my father, one of these units will be getting installed. Probably that one because it has a reciprocating compressor. Maybe this one for sentimental reasons, I don't know. Uh, the one with the recip's more efficient, so that's probably going to be what I'll have to install, but still, I love both of these units. And both of these are in like, near mint condition. There's no rust in any of them. Um, I'm going to have to do a drain hole mod to both of these. Actually, I think this one already had a drain hole in it. Uh, the costly here is the one down here in the bottom. And this one here is probably... Uh, this is probably a no-drip dehumidification unit. And I love, I love the sliding control door. Running at 67 degrees Fahrenheit. You can 
63 will do. We'll stall the fan and try to get an Arctic blast. And the sound of the Rotorex. Which actually sounds really healthy. Here's our Arctic blast. 58, 54. We're able to get 58 for an Arctic blast. I mean 68. Something like that. No, 58. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm, I'm very sleepy. I didn't get enough sleep yesterday night, so I apologize. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. All metal construction, no styrofoam pieces on it to go bad. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with the control door on this unit, but I am. And the multimeter turned off. I'm not sure if the battery died or if it just had an automatic timeout. It's been running for over an hour now, so that part explains why. It feels so good. It's very hot and muggy out here, so I'm sitting in front of this unit, and the ice-cold air that this one's blowing literally just feels so nice. Look at the detritus here on the vents. So here's off. Neighbor central unit just kicked on too. Uh, there's my mid-80s room air window air conditioner made by Fetters.